everybody, and welcome to How To Videos with Dr. Amy Gates. This video is specifically for MM207 statistics, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to find your Unit 4 instructor graded project, how to open up the data for that particular project using StatCrunch, how to find the project assignment itself as well as the template, and how to get started on the Unit 4 project. So again, this how-to video is all about the Unit 4 project and getting you started. Now first of all, I'd like to recommend that you start the Unit 4 project while you're still in Unit 3. I recommend that because one of the biggest requests that students will make is they wish they had more time to complete the project. And you can give yourself more time by starting the project early. Now to find the data set for the project, and to get that data to open up in StatCrunch, we're going to come to Unit 4, and we're going to go down until we see Instructor Graded Project. Don't worry that I have two of these links here. The Instructor View gives me a little bit more information. But in your view, you're going to see one link, and it's going to be called Instructor Graded Project. Let's go ahead and click that link, and we'll see that that link brings us to another link that gets us into StatCrunch, and will specifically allow us to view the data set that we're going to be using for our project. So let's click on the StatCrunch link now, and we can see that StatCrunch has opened up, and over here to the left is the data set we're using for this particular term for our Unit 4 project. This is data set 4. Please keep in mind that there are many different data sets that we shuffle around so that the answers to the projects will be different each term. So don't be alarmed if this is not exactly 4 or exactly the same. As long as you followed the path, you went to Unit 4, you found Instructor Graded Project, you entered StatCrunch, then whatever the data set is over here to the left, that's the data set that you're going to be using for your project for Unit 4. When you click on that data set, it will populate your StatCrunch area with that data. And as you can see, sometimes it takes a minute or two to populate. The slower your computer is and the slower the internet is at that moment, the longer this population might take. But don't become alarmed, it will actually take place. In this particular data set, we have a bunch of rows of IDs for people who answered many different questions. So in this particular row, this is person who has ID number 29002. Because remember, we're not allowed to use names or social security numbers because that's a breach of privacy. So we usually just give our rows or our members random ID numbers. So this is person with ID 29002. This person is male. And this person answered a series of questions for us. And we were able to collect that data. So this person may have answered the question of how old they are, and more information to this, what is their hair color, and so on and so forth. And you might be thinking, well, I can't really read this very well. I'd like a lot more information about the particular data set that I'm going to be working on. Where do I get information about the data set so I can see exactly what all these questions mean, and so on. And we're going to look at that in one moment. So for now, we've found the data set and we've opened it up. And this is the data set that we're going to be using this term for our Unit 4 project. All right, now the next question is, and let's go back to the classroom area. The next question is, well, where is the actual project assignment? And where can I find a better description of that data set? And both of those can be found in the doc sharing area of our class. So if I click on doc sharing, I come to an area where I have lots of different information that's going to help me. The first thing I want to point out is here in the second category, we have instructor graded projects. This is where you're going to find the project assignment and the template. In my particular class, I've actually combined the template with the assignment itself. So here you can see the Unit 4 Midterm Project Assignment and Template all together in one document. So this is where the actual project assignment is, and it's in the form of a template 
which just means that it's color-coded and it makes it a little easier to read and to answer the questions. But no matter which class you're in, and no matter which term it is, to find the actual project assignment, you want to click on Doc Sharing, then Instructor Graded Projects, and then you want to come down and choose the Unit 4 Project Assignment. Alright, well that's where we find the assignment, but where can we find a better description of the project data set? That's going to be in the first category of Doc Sharing. So let's click on this first category and see what information is in there. Usually inside this first category you'll find a lot of very helpful information. In my course, for example, I load in all of the PowerPoint guides that I cover in our seminars. So here's our Unit 1, Unit 2, and Unit 3 seminar PowerPoint guides. These contain a lot of information about StatCrunch and a lot of information about what we're doing in each unit. Here's the course syllabus, and here's what we're maybe looking for. Here's data set descriptions for all of the StatCrunch data sets. That's pretty important as well. Now right here, we have this listed as just a general instructor. Lots of people have downloaded it, so if you're seeing all this information, that's all this is telling you. And this will give you information about what each of the data sets are, are representing, what all the variables are. Well, let's see what else is in here. If we go back to instructor graded projects, Again, we find that this is where you can find the location of the assignment itself. In my class, I'm also going to put a description of the project data set inside the Instructor Graded Projects area so that it's easy to find in there as well. So when you come into Doc Sharing, have a look around both of these areas to try to find the information you need. Each instructor might be slightly different, but in all cases, clicking on Doc Sharing and then clicking on the first and second categories will assure that you can find the project description and the description of the data sets. All right, now I'm going to actually open up my project description and template so we can take a closer look at what some of the questions are. Remember, I build a template that's color coded. So my template might look a little bit different than other classroom project descriptions, but the actual content is identical. Let's take a look. All right, here we're basically looking at the MM207 midterm project template, and this is also the assignment itself. We're going to be doing a lot of this assignment in StatCrunch, and so as we discovered before, if we go into Unit 4, Instructor Graded Project, and click on StatCrunch, it'll actually allow us to access the student data set from that area, and that's what we want. All right, now let's scroll down and see the types of questions we're going to be answering. You'll notice again that my template just simply color codes the questions and gives you a place to answer them. However, the questions are identical to every other section, so don't be alarmed if your template or assignment looks a little different. Everything in it is pretty much the same. Please also keep in mind that the assignment changes each term. So if you're looking at this video and your assignment looks different, it's probably for a different term and that's okay because this is just an instructional video to help you find everything you need to get started on the project. So again, when you come to open the project, you're going to see that it's made up of questions that you're going to have to answer. For example, this question asks you to identify the implied population, this question asks you to identify the type of statistical study, and so on. Some of the questions will ask you to use StatCrunch, and they may ask you to describe what is a discrete variable, what is a continuous variable, and so on. If you're asked to use StatCrunch, you definitely want to insert whatever you create or ask to create into this document. And so that's something we're going to look at right now. How can we open up our data in StatCrunch? And how can we create either graphs or how can we discover different information like percentages or Q1 or Q3? And then how can we paste that into a Word document? So let's see how to do that now. All right, so so far we've discovered that by entering doc sharing 
And using one of these two categories, we can find the description of the project, all the questions that you have to answer, as well as descriptions of the data set, and we also learn that if we come under Unit 4 and click on Instructor Graded Project, we can enter StatCrunch and view the data set for the project that we're going to be working on. If I click on that data set over to the left, it'll populate StatCrunch with my data, and I can get started. All right, now looking at this particular data set, I have lots of different information here. I have things like hair color and gender, I have things like age, and so on and so forth. This is maybe information about people's political views, whether they're moderate, liberal, or conservative, and so on. Lots of fun information here on this data set. Now, if I wanted to build a graph, I would click on Graphics first. You'll notice that there are many different types of graphs that you can build, and you always want to think to yourself, what is the variable that I want to look at and what kind of information do I want my graph to show? Let's create a standard pie chart just to see how this works. And we're going to use the data from our data set. I'm just going to create a really standard pie chart about gender. I'm going to just create this graph. And there it is. And I can see, wow, I've got a lot of females participating in this study. Very few males, relatively, so that's, that's interesting. I've got 134 females, only 25 males, so this is definitely biased towards females, this particular study. Now, let's say I wanted to paste this pie chart into my Word document. I have options for doing that. I can save it to my computer if I want to, or I can simply click Copy and paste it right into the document. So if I click on copy, then I can open up a Word document, trying to find the appropriate Word document here, one second. Let's see if it'll just cooperate with me. Yeah, it will. And after I click copy, I'm going to click my right mouse button, and I'm going to paste it right in there. Okay, there it is. Let me expand that so you can see it. And then I can add labels or do whatever else I want to do. So that's how you grab your graphs out from StatCrunch and paste them into a Word document. Again, you can click on Options and you can either save it to your computer or you can just choose to copy and paste it into a Word document. Now again, if you wanted to use StatCrunch to look at different statistics, you click on Stat. And then Summary Statistics would give you information like mean, median, mode, variance, standard deviation, and so on. We would want to look at summary statistics of our columns because those are our variables. And so let's say we're really curious about what ages people are. One of the questions they were asked is, how old are you? So I want to click on Next to see all the different summary statistics I'm going to be given. Q1 is the first 25% of the data. Q3 is the last 25%. Q2, which is not listed here as Q2, but rather as median. Q2 is the median of my data. So if you're ever looking for things like Q3, Q1, or Q2, all that information is here. I'll click Calculate. And StatCrunch gives me all the information about the ages of my participants, the average age, the variance, the standard deviation the median age, which is Q2, the range of my ages, the minimum age, the maximum age, Q1, the first 25% of my ages are up to 29, and Q3, so between 44 and 62, are the last 25% of my ages. Same thing here, if I wanted to copy this, I could do so and paste it right into my Word document, or I can save it to my computer. All right, so let's review. We've learned a lot of information today. We've learned about how to find our project. In Unit 4, under Instructor Graded Project, we can enter StatCrunch, get our data, and work on our data in StatCrunch. If we go into Doc Sharing, we can go to the first and second categories to find information about the data sets and also the actual project description itself, and in my class, a template as well. So that's how to get started on the project, 
and I recommend getting started as soon as you can. Thanks for joining me.